wonderful four-day trip. We left September the 28th, 27th. Want to redo? 27th, we went to Albany. But do you want to redo? No. September 27th, we landed in Albany, New York, and we took this little highway over to Bennington. Bennington is a very uh, historical town where uh, John Stark was leader over the Battle of Bennington and conquered the British. And there's a monument there to uh, commemorate that. We stayed at the Four Chimneys uh, Inn, and it was more like an inn, um, more professional. It was very nice, and we enjoyed it. Uh, but they had, uh, it was a restaurant in it and everything, so it was a little bit bigger. And it was very beautiful. We ate our breakfast in the sunroom that next morning, and it was delicious. So then we took off. We, we went around this Bennington area quite a bit. The night before, we ate at a brewery. Yep. We had dinner at the Madison Brewery, which was very good and lots of fun. We liked to do that. And... And I had a nice stay here. This was a town where we really enjoyed. We went to an old church that had just been redone in 1999. It was just beautiful. It had those uh, kind of cages, or cages, I say. It was those wooden squares where families would sit or the women would sit and then the men would sit in the front or whatever. But anyway, um, Frost. What's Frost's first name? Robert. Robert. Robert Frost is buried here. See, I can't remember. So anyway, so then we left Bennington that, that next day, and we drove through this route here. And by the way, you can get, this is only like an hour's drive through Vermont. You can get places um, fairly quick. It's, it's not very far from one place to another. But these are all kind of windy roads, country roads, very nice, very beautiful. To Chester. The next night was in Chester, and we stayed at the Henry Farms Inn in Chester. Uh, the people were nice. It wasn't quite as nice as some of our other places have been, but it was it was fun. And the town of Chester was going to be celebrating the Civil War uh, festivities there. First time for okay. We enjoyed the Civil War reenactment here, and and President Lincoln getting off the train. And then we went up through Ludlow and followed this. You can see the yellow road, or the yellow highlights, as to which roads we took to Ticonderoga. We crossed Lake Champlain here on a ferry and went to Fort Ticonderoga, which was very interesting. And then we went to Crown Point, where we stayed at the... Sugar Hill Manor, and that was one. That was our favorite bed and breakfast. Uh, it was a Victorian style home, and it was just beautiful. And the the woman there who hosted us was very very nice. She encouraged us to go up. And the next day we did this to go up, clear through here. This is all New York, by the way, and cross at Rusus Point here and come down this road through the islands. You can see the islands are here. This road just comes right through the islands and comes back down into Burlington, which we did. and We enjoyed that. That was uh, Canada's right here. We say we kissed Canada and then came down to Burlington. And on through to Waterbury where the Green Mountain Coffee Company was. Their headquarters is there and so we stopped there and got some coffee. Ben and Jerry's is also here. We didn't take time to do that, but uh, there was lots of things that we didn't do, but we, we really enjoyed all the scenery and everything. From Waterbury, we drove back down into Proctorsville, which is, we came down this way, and here's Proctorsville by Ludlow. We ate dinner in Ludlow, but Proctor, Proctorsville, we ate at the Golden... Let's see, what was the name of that place? The Golden Stage Inn, which was a, a nice place. We enjoyed that old home. And then from there, at 7 o'clock in the morning, we got up and drove uh, 
kind of this way all the way back to uh, Albany to catch our plane. This didn't take but two hours. This is a two hour trip so you can kind of get a feel for how big this day is.